In this video, we are going to solve a problem and also get to know a few of the terminologies. Well, I thought that the best way to tell about the terminology is to directly solve a problem and show it to you. Otherwise, it gets very monotonous just to speak text and definitions. So let's begin. Now I want you to look at this sample table over here. So on one column you have marks and on the second we have number of students. Now if you look at the column marks, so this column over here it consists of class or a group. And we have read about this in the previous video that whenever you have a class or a group, that particular data set belongs to continuous frequency distribution. So this particular column over here is known as frequency. Let me just write that for you. Frequency. Now I want you to understand this very carefully because going forward in the main questions when we go on to solve them, there you should be absolutely clear about all these small definitions that we are just going to cover. So the first term that you will frequently hear is frequency of a class. Of a class. So whenever they ask you frequency of a class, so always remember this over here is a class and this over here is the respective frequency. So the frequency of the class 10 to 20 is 13. Similarly, frequency of class 20 to 30 is 22. 30 to 40 is 14. 40 to 50 is 28 and so on and so forth. And the second term that you will hear frequently is class size. size. Since we know that this over here is a class, therefore they are asking you the size of the class. Now if this is the frequency, then what is the size? The size is actually the difference or the total number of values that fit in, into this class. Okay, So the formula to that is upper limit minus lower limit. So if the question is what is the class size of uh, 20 to 30, then the answer is the upper limit over there is 30 minus and the lower limit is 20 and the answer is 10. So that is what is the class size. Let me just free up some space. Yeah. Now the third term that you will hear is total frequency. Frequency. Now we have read that this column over here, these, these are the frequency. Now they are asking you the total of that frequency, meaning the sum. So you simply add this value. So that is 13 plus 22, 13 plus 22, plus 14, plus 28, plus 43, plus 26. So the answer is 146. Therefore, the total frequency of this entire data set is 146. And the next term that you will hear is mid value. Now by the name you can figure out they are asking for the value that is in the middle. So whenever they are asking you the mid value, they are actually referring to the mid value of the class. Okay. So the easiest formula for that is you will take the upper value, sorry, the upper limit of the class. Then you add it with the lower limit of that same class and you divide both of them by 2. I need a bit more of space. Yeah. So let's take an example of 40 to 50 class. So here the upper limit is 50 plus lower limit is 40 divided by 2 which gives us 90 by 2. When you cancel that you get 45. We conclude that by saying 45 is the midpoint between 40 to 50 class. So these were the terminologies that I wanted you to be aware of in frequency distribution table. In the next video, we will learn how to find out the mean of a frequency distribution.